Namaste everyone. Welcome. My name is ID and here I love to share the practice is 45 minute to one hour vinyasa slow. So it's very accessible. Listen to your own body today and feel free to adjust any posture, any one more challenging or resting into the posture. Just offering uh, a general guide, but again, it's come back toward your own practice. So let's start with our meditation. Just really nice grounding ourselves. Then place the hand right on the top of the knees. Simply just relax your shoulders, straight your spine, sitting down, rooting it down toward the ground. And close your eyes for a moment. You can take any mudra that just feel right for you or just simply rest. And slowly, slowly taking your own smooth, steady breath toward your dorsal. A couple soft breaths here. Feel free to add your ujjayi breath if you will toward a whole practice today. Or simply taking a natural breathing into the practice. And start aware with the whole body and its sensation that rising today. Any tight tension in the body. Any emotion. Just simply aware of them. Expanding the awareness, start aware with the sounds around us, around the rooms, around the space. Without fixing or change them, just allowing that become a perfect soundtrack for the sadhana, for the practice today. And simply place the hand right in the front side of the heart. It's allowing us to setting our intention today, or sankalpa. Any intention that you're bringing today into your math again. Could be in a physical intention. It could be mental, it could be energetic, it could be anything that you're offering toward your practice today, that you want to focus in on. You can repeat that intention three times in your mind. And through that, by opening the space with chanting sound of OM, feel free to join me or just simply listen. Exhaling all the way out and to the breath. Taking a deep breath in. Om. Let the forehead drop down, humbling yourself, drop the ego, namaste. Softly, gently release the hand, it's coming up. Bring the left leg out to the side and place your right feet into your inner thighs. Place your left hand on the top of the left shin and reach your right arms up, look up, and as you exhale, sinking it over toward the side. Same movement, inhale, reach your arms all the way up and exhale. If you feel all right, you can turn the chest up or just warming up the body, stretching it out. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Very slow, mindfully back into the middle, rising your arms like in a Y and placing your right fingertips back, your left hand on the top of the right knees, lengthening the spine first and twist the body over toward your right. Taking two nice deep breaths here, inhale and taking a deep exhale. One more time, ujjayi breath or natural breathing, inhale and exhale. 
softly turning the chin back toward the middle, very gentle, slightly lean back and opening your right leg to the side. Very mindfully bringing your feet into your inner thighs again. Bringing your right hand on the top of the right knee, reach your left arms up all the way like an arrow. Exhale, lean over toward the right. Same movement, inhale, reach your arms all the way. And exhale, reach over toward the right. Turn the chest up, look up toward the ceiling or to the sky, taking deep inhale here. And taking a deep exhale. One more time, breathing in. And exhale, now rise up like in a little Y, extending the arm. And then twist the body over toward the left side, lengthening the spine first. And twist over toward the left. Two breaths again, inhale. And exhale. One more time, big breath in. And exhale. Chin back over to the center. Softly crossing your leg here, very mindfully. And just simply walking your arms into the front, pressing your palms firmly down. Let the upper body drop down, but at the same time your sit bone is sinking down toward the ground. Two breath here, inhale. Try to breathe into the back side of the heart, exhale. One more time, big breath in. And exhale. And slowly, slowly walking the hand back into the center, come back into a seating. And placing the arms into the front, find your way into the all pores position, tabletop position. Taking one round of a cat cow, arch the back, look up. And exhale, round the back, pour head in toward your chest. Back and into a neutral spine, point your toes, sink down into your child posture, let your poor head drop, very mindfully, one breath here. And release something out, a sigh or tension, this doesn't have to belong with you, exhale it out, empty. Start aware with the arms, roll up into your tabletop position, softly Lean down and lowering down, come into the first high cobra. You lift the chest up, like you want to kiss toward the ceiling. Back in into the tabletop and exhale, sink down toward the floor. Let the poor head drop down toward the ground. Inhale, rise it up. Moving a flow a little bit, exhale, warming up the body. Same movement, back in. And exhale, sink down. Inhale, roll up like you're dancing. And exhale, lower down, press up into your high cobra. And come back into the center, curl the toes, press up into your first downward facing dog. You can bicycle in your leg few rounds side to side here. Get a really nice stretching toward your body, toward your hamstring, press more down toward your arms and your feet. And now softly back and into straight downward facing dog or straightening leg downward facing dog. Stay here for one or two breaths with your own piece or stay as long as you feel right. Ground down the palm, shoulder away the head, hang down to the ground, deep breath in. And exhale all the way out. Feel the breaths coming in and out toward your nose. Bringing your feet together Swing the right leg up to the ceiling, all the way, very active, keep the hip in the line, hug the knees in, very close into your chest, see around your back here. Inhale, extending all the way up to the ceiling again, and cross that knees over toward the left elbow and twist. Inhale, all the way back, extending all the way up again, and hugging it toward your right elbow as high as you can and press back all the way up toward the ceiling and bend over to the side, turn the head over toward the right armpit. Press the chest a little bit close toward your chest, toward your knees, excuse me, deep breath in here and deep breath out. Extending the right leg up and lowering down toward the floor, relining back into your downward facing dog. 
feet together, shift the weight a little bit more toward the right, extending your left leg all the way up and hugging the knees in close into your nose. Inhale, extend all the way up and cross over toward the right elbows. Inhale, reach up and hugging in toward the left elbows. Inhale, reach back all the way back and bend the knees over toward the right. Look to the left armpit, deep inhale here and taking a deep exhale. Straight up your left leg and lowering down to the floor, knees to the ground, take your child posture, let your poor head drop. Your palm is off from the floor, Come high as into your fingertips, really releasing the wrist a little bit. Taking a deep breath in, deep breath out, few more, breathing in, and exhale, taking in a very gentle practice here, listening to your body, slowly, slowly, mindfully practice. Ground the palms down, rise up into your tabletop position, lowering your chest and chin, and coming up either into the high, low, or middle cobra. Rise to tessa. Back in into your downward facing dog, brush your tail up toward the ceiling. Look forward, bend the knees, walk your feet into the front, very mindfully. Widen your feet about hip distance apart. Step in into your feet, bringing the arms under your feet. Really release your wrists again. Lean forward very mindfully. And as you exhale, slightly lean back. Play out with the weight in your feet. So really taking time to massaging that wrist side here. Roll back and forth a few times. Loosening the upper body is very heavy. Hmm. You come back into the middle, softly from here, yeah, releasing your fingertips out from the feet, very mindfully, and placing your hand into your shin, taking, bend the knees if you need to here, lengthening the spine, imagine like a string in your head, you want to reach it forward, and as you exhale, your belly rests into your thighs, letting the forehead drop down to the floor. Let's take that one more time. Inhale, halfway left, lengthening the spine. Exhale, belly drop down to the floor. Let the forehead down toward the ground. Press your feet. Bend the knees slightly and opening the arms to the side. Reach your arms all the way up. Reaching over the head, maybe slide back then. And come back into the center, Samasiti. Bring the hand back, back into the front side of your heart. Take one breath here, breathe in. And taking a deep first breath out. Eyes open, bringing your feet together into the front side of the mat. Ground your feet, reach your arms over the head. Maybe slide back then and swan dive, fall, fall down toward the ground, like you swim down to the ground. Right leg step back, keep the back leg straight, reach your arms all the way forward, over the head, square your head, hugging it into the midline. Press down to your feet, reach arm toward your arms, reaching it forward, keep the spine straight, and swing your arms back, exhale. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Keep the exact same, twist the body over toward the left side. You're twisting it then. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Swing forward and back all the way. Same movement, inhale, reach your arms all the way up. And twist the body over toward the left side. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Release your fingertips down. Come highs into your fingertips. Send the heel down. Straight the front leg. Square the hip. Let the upper body drop down. Taking one or two deep breaths here. 
and exhale. Inhale, micro bend, bending the front knees. Place the hand down. Step back into your plank. First, Chaturanga Dandasana, Vinyasa, all the way down. Coming up into the upward facing dog. Straight hugging in. And roll back, downward facing dog. Take one breath here, inhalation. Taking in an exhalation. Feet together, your right leg up to the ceiling. Inhale, keep the hip in a line. Step between the hand like a ninja, very slow, using your core. Inhale, rising your arms all the way up. High lunge position, square your hip again. Grounding down, reaching up. Reach your arms all the way forward, inhale. And exhale all the way back. Inhale, reach your arms all the way forward and up. And twist the body over toward the right side, like arms really reaching it toward the back and the front. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Swing it forward and back, extend. Reach your arms all the way to the ceiling. Let's bring the offering and opening it up toward the right side. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Hand down to the ground. Come high in your fingertips. Sink the heel, the hip back, and straight the boat leg. Let the upper body, if you feel all right, let the upper body drop. Two breaths here, inhale. Exhalation. One more time, relax your face. Then exhale. Inhale, bend the right knees. Place the arms down. Send the right leg back into your plank. Vinyasa, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. And move back into your downward facing dog. Let's take a two breath here. Inhale. Exhalation. Two. Exhalation. Inhale, look forward. Bend the knees, either walk or hop into the front. Very mindfully listen to your body. Taking in a halfway left, lengthening the spine again. Exhale, let the belly sink down to the floor. Let the upper body drop. Ground your feet down with your arms to the side, over the head, and placing the hand back into the center, sama sticky feet. Taking in a moment to ground for about two breaths. Pressing your feet down to the ground, lengthening the spine up to the ceiling. Relax your shoulder back and down. Keep inhaling. Be that same. Softly from here, shifting the weight over toward your lap side of the body, bending the right knees in. Toes is very active. Send it back. Virabhadrasana tree, like you're kicking it back toward the back side of the room. Same. Inhale, bend the right knee, switch your arms all the way up, finding your balance. Exhale, sending it back toward Virabhadrasana tree. Hip square. Inhale, rise up all the way again. And send back all the way and lowering the right feet down like a ninja. Rising it up into high lunge position. Back heel off, back knees off. Deep breath in and exhale. Arms open like in the little T here, very nice and wide. Lowering your right fingertips, just touching. Reaching your left arms up, push the body or look up toward the left fingertips. Not leaning, you're pressing down and reaching up toward the ceiling. Deep inhalation. Turn the chest up, do the exhalation. Same breathing, inhale. And exhale, lowering down the hand, press the hand down. Step back into your plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. And taking the upward facing dog, move back into your downward facing dog. All the way, two breath, inhale. 
and taking an exhale. Breathing in and breathing it out. Inhale, micro bend the knees, look forward, walk or hop into the front without sound, taking in a halfway lift, lengthening spine, and exhale, let the upper body dropping down toward the floor, completely hang. Bend the knees, reach your arms to the side, over the head, lengthening, and come back into the center, Samasthiti. Two breaths again. Breathing hell and taking a deep breath. Eyes open, shift the weight over toward the right knee, sun. Bend the right knees in. That was very active. Inhaling and exhale, extending your crown, reach forward, your leg, reach back. Inhale, lengthening, extend the arms over the head and send it back, all the way back again. Warrior three. Inhale, rise up, all the way up. Like you're dancing. Exhale, all the way, and lowering your feet down. Come high into the high lunge position. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Softly from here, opening the arms like a little T, Lowering your right fingertips down. Excuse me, left fingertip. Extending your right fingertips up. Look up to the ceiling with the neck allow. Otherwise, keep looking up toward the side. Two breaths. You inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in. Chest twisting it up toward the ceiling. Lower your hand down to the ground. Send back your right leg to the plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. And move back. Downward facing dog. Take two breaths here. Inhale. Exhalation. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Feet together. Extending your left leg to the ceiling all the way up and step between the hand like a ninja. Rotate the back like 90 degrees, front leg facing into the front. Reach your right arms up, opening into the warrior two. The torso is still facing to the side, just the head turning into the front. The arm is parallel down to the ground. The teacher is the middle finger, you're reaching it forward, and you're reaching it back. Look forward beyond the left middle fingers. Bend the front knees, the front knees is out. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Keep as that same back hand down. Reach the left arm back. Extending, reverse warrior. Inhaling back, warrior two. Front hand on the top of the knees, switch the back arm into the front. Inhaling back, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Same movement, breathing in. And exhale. Lowering your right hand down all the way. Turning the body, turn the back like high lunge. Rotate to the right. Taking in a side plank. Extending the left hand up. Hip up. Press the heel. Lower your hand down. Take your vinyasa, chaturanga dandasana. And meeting yourself back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Taking a deep breath out. Now feet together, extending your right leg up. Step between the hand, finding a warrior two. Turning the other way, turning a warrior two. Is that same? Bend the front knees, back like 90 degrees, arm parallel down to the floor. Turn the head over toward the right. Sink the knees. If you're feeling one deeper into the posture, sink the knees a little bit more. From here, taking a reverse warrior, reach your right arm back. Look up to the ceiling. Inhaling back, warrior two. Front hand on the top of the knees. 
extending the back arms forward. Inhaling back, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Breathing in, warrior two. Exhale, extending into the front side of the room. Lowering your left hand down, come into the high lunge, step your right leg back, extending, coming up into the high, into the side plank, lowering hand down, take your vinyasa chaturanga, dandasana, and meeting yourself back, downward facing dog. Stay here in your down dog, two breaths. Breathe in, breathing out, finding the alignment of the posture, grounding your arms, shoulder away from the ear, face is very, very soft. Breathe in, breathe out. Feet together, extending your left leg up to the ceiling. Step between the hand again like a ninja. Opening up, warrior two. Rising and up, warrior two again. Bend the front knees. Mindfully. Straight the front leg. Adjust the back leg one step forward. And reach your left hand forward. Lowering down to the ground. Or place it into in the top of the shin. Or down to the ground. Extending your right arm up into Trikonasana. Lift the chest more toward the ceiling and the hip also is really nice open. Imagine there is a wall behind you, you are leaning against that wall. Look up, is that accessible or looking toward the side? Try not to lock the knees here. Press it for a corner of your feet, grounding it down and your chest can be turning up. Keep breath in and out. Look down, bend the front knees, rising up for your two. Turn the left leg forward, you switch it toward the other side. Exact same, your right leg pressing into the side. Hip facing to the side, straight the front leg. Reach, bring your left hip back, reach your right arms down. Extending your left hand up to the ceiling. Again, hip really nice and open. Spine nice and tall, not sinking. But really lengthening to Breath in. Deep breath up. One more time. And exhale, look down to the floor. Bend the front knees, rise up, warrior two again. Turn the big toes, facing toward each other. Interlace your arms. Straight the both elbows all the way. Bend the knees, tilt from the hip. Swan dive, four, four. Very, very mindfully. Arms away from the head, head reaching down to the floor. If you're flexible enough, you can straight your leg all the way back or keep bending the knees if not feeling all right today. Listen to your body. Take six breaths here. Release the hand down to the ground, taking in a halfway lift, lengthening the spine up. And as you exhale, you reach your arms back into the back side of the mat. Palms down, palms up, your choice. Let the forehead drop. Inhalation. Taking in an exhalation. You can close your eyes here. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more nice big breath. Come high into your fingertips, lengthening the spine, halfway left. Turn in the left leg into the front, walk the hand forward. Step back, plank, vinyasa. And rise it up. And back into your downward facing dog. All the way down dog. Deep breath in. Taking a deep breath out. Softly feet together, left leg to the ceiling. Keep the hip in a line again. Step between the hand. Rise up, back leg 90 degrees, warrior two. And straight the front leg, turning the big toes, missing each other. This time, your feet is like in a V, out toward the side. As like in a V over here. 
Now softly with your arms all the way up. And as you exhale, sinking down as low as you can, but your spine really straight. Again, inhale, reach up. And exhale. Use your breath here. Inhale. Really nice in the thighs. Exhale. Last two. Deep breath in. Exhalation. Last one. All the way. And exhale. Beautiful. Inhale, rise your arms all the way up. Turn your left leg and lower down. Step back, plank, and yasa. Upward facing dog. Move back in your down dog. Keep inhaling. Deep exhale. Lower your knees down to the ground. Take your child pose all the way down into your child pose. Close your eyes here, taking one minute to resting the body. Deep breath in. Taking a deep breath out. Releasing all the tiredness. Something that doesn't have to be with you. Just releasing down, drop it down it's like the rains fall down toward the ground. Breathing. And let something out all the way up. Breathing in and out. And softly to the next inhale coming around. You start aware of your palms here. And roll yourself up into your tabletop position. Adjust the knees, slide down into your back. Pointing your toes back, letting your forehead drop down. And placing your palms toward the side of the body, palms kicking down. Feet together, heel together, and shoulder blades right in. Pressing the pelvis down, inhale, rising the up, and lifting the boat leg up. Exhale, lower down to the Do that a few more times, inhale, rising your chest up, rising your leg up, and exhale. Deep down, insulate the arms behind the back. Break the both elbows, palms together if that are capable. Feet and heel together. Ground the base, the pelvis, rising the chest up, and lifting the leg. Reach your leg back and reach your crown forward. Taking two breaths here, inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in. And exhale, lower down to the ground. Release the hand and turn the head over to the right and take the rest. You can close your eyes here and choosing one focal point, taking it out three breaths. Inhalation, taking an exhalation. Same breathing, inhale, then exhale. Chin back to the middle and turn the other side, which is to the left side, three breaths. Staying here for about really nice three breaths. Breathing. Three breaths. Forehead back into the middle. Arms under your shoulder, rise up into your chest, coming back, tabletop, knees together this time, letting the arm to the side of the body, let the forehead drop down to the ground. Shoulder right out to the side, you can do a gentle movement, roll it side to side, as slow as you can, take it slowly, slowly here. 
their eyes is closed, enjoying that subtle movement toward the side, left and the right. Breathe in. Breathe out. And gentle back into the stillness. Relax your body. Breathe in and out. Place the hand into the front. Rise up into your tabletop. Step your left leg into the front side of the palms over here. Sink the hip down to the ground. Come highs into your fingertips, lengthening the spine first. And deep breath here. A few nice deep breaths. Deep breath out. One more time. And then so slightly sink the hip and bringing your left leg out to the side into the right side of the mat, folding the leg over here. Okay. So if you can adjust if this feeling too much for you, you can bring the left leg a little bit closer toward your right thighs. Otherwise, you can bring the leg a little bit forward but activating your legs. Your toes is flexing. Curl the back toes, lift the knees up, sliding the leg back a little bit to creating the space. If, this, if you're feeling like you're sinking toward the side, you can bring the bolster or the cushion or the towel side of your left hip to slipping a more uh, higher into the hips over here. Lengthening the spine, taking an active first. Deep breath here. Exhalation. One more time. And softly sink the hip down, lowering your left elbows down. Following with the right elbows, make a fish or cross your arms, grab your elbows, whatever is feeling right for you, choosing which one is right, and simply let the upper body rest here. We're taking one minute into this posture. Close your eyes and just breathe. Inhalation. Taking an exhalation. Sending a lot of space into the left side of the hip, giving like a lot of a kissing and hugging toward you, toward your breath. Breathe in and breathe in. Out. Few more breaths here. Relax your jaw, your face, the bowl of the eyes, simply letting gravity take your all the work for you, the weight, exhaling it out. You come out from the posture. Next inhale, come around, unwrap the arm, releasing. Place the hand down mindfully, very gentle, rise up. Curl the back toes, right knees off, and sending your right leg back into your downward facing dog. Just taking in a bike, tickling your legs side to side. Very nice. We're releasing, gentle. And come back, lower your knees down to the ground. Step your right leg into the front. Adjusting, come highest into your fingertips here. Point the back toes, some high, lengthening the spine pipe first, like the chest when you're lifting it up toward the side. Shoulder out to the side. Deep breath in. And exhale. So if you have a block, then use the block a little bit here. You know, otherwise, it's some high into your fingertips. Sink the hip a little bit back. Walk your right feet toward your left side of the mat. Hold the knees. Come high into your fingertips, curl the back toes, lift the knees and sliding the leg back a little bit. Point the back toes, make sure the back leg is straight. Halfway lengthening, active first. Exhale, you can square your hip, right hip back, left hip forward here. It's very engaging, not completely dull, sinking into the back. It's very active, you're reaching in. And sink down, lower your right elbows, following with the left elbows. Any variation of a pigeon, passive pigeon pose, just take the adjust and letting this head drop. 
one minute into this posture is really nice for our hips if you have tight hips this is a perfect posture for you stay here a little bit longer if you wish otherwise taking one minute is a perfect opportunity for us to send in a lot of breath a lot of space creating them a little bit more open relaxing gently breathe in and breathe the other Stay in a space of meditation. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhalation again. Taking an exhalation. With your own piece, release the hand. Come high as in your fingertips. For so these ones to come out from the posture, you lean over your body to the right side, bringing your left leg into the front. Either into the front side of your feet, excuse me, front side of the knees, or outside of your right knees over here, choosing which one is right. We'll do a twist here a little bit. Grab your left knees with the right hand, your left fingertips behind you. You can come high, so sliding down, choosing which one is right. Taking in a halfway lift first, excuse me, taking a lengthening. And as you exhale, twist the body over towards your left. Look over toward the left shoulder if that's accessible. Otherwise, keep the head in the one side, focusing more to creating the space in the belly and your thighs. You inhale. And push a little bit more. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Softly chin back to the middle and wrap the arm and wrap the leg. Placing your fingertips back. Slightly lean. And then switch toward the other side. Doing the exact same posture to the other side. Grabbing your right knees with the left hand. Your right fingertips behind your lower back. Lengthening the spine and twist the body over toward the right. Look into the back of the room or into the right shoulder. Two breath here, breathe in and breathe out. You can close your eyes, just feeling that nice twist one more time. And chin back over to the center and drop the arm and your leg. Slightly lean back, releasing, bring your boat leg into the front. You can adjusting the hip a little bit, opening your flaps, really sitting down into your sit bone. Toes flexing in, reach your arms all the way up. And as you exhale, lower down to the ground. You can grab your ankles, you can grab your toes. You can grab your feet, choosing which one is right for you. Wherever you are today, perfect. You're lengthening the spine, shoulder out. And as you exhale, focusing more to let the belly down. Deep inhaling. Perhaps the second one, the ribs going down. Again, deep breath in. Maybe your chest. It doesn't have to push yourself in a sudden level into the posture. Really using the breath creating this space and exhale you let go and surrendering into that space let the forehead down to the ground taking one minute close your eyes into this posture over in space of thank you toward the whole leg the whole body toward this posture breathing in Breathe in now. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Try to send the breath to the whole body. The whole body is breathing together with you. Relax your face, your mind, your jaw. Completely relax. Breathe. Stay in a space of silence, few more breath. So 
18 and a half way left, lengthening the spine. Walk your fingertips back. Gentle, gentle. You roll the body back. Take one breath here after the pose. Then exhale. Softly placing the hand to the side of the hip, grounding the arms here. Send the hip into the front. Lie down into your back. Hug the knees very close into your chest. You can hug it with your arms or you can hug it very close with your both elbows if that's accessible. You can roll the body side to side. Keep pressing the sacrum down to the ground. It's really nice to massage that middle back after that back bend that we've done. Softly side to side. Very mindfully. Come back and into the middle, massage it a little bit more. Grab your big toes with the piece of the hand, opening the leg, bring the knees out to the side of the ribs into the happy baby posture. Roll side to side again, like in a baby rolling the leg side to side. Very mindfully. Mm. Soft face. Keep the sacrum down. Come back into the middle, hug the knees very close into your chest. Because we've done that back bend a little bit, we release that back bend now. Bringing your feet flat down to the ground, reach your, reaching your fingertips, reaching your heel with your fingertips until you can touch it toward your fingertips. Arm to the side of your body, keep the head looking up toward the ceiling or up toward the sky. Softly from here, lifting the hip off from the floor and exhale lower down to the ground. Again, take a deep breath in, lift the hip off from the floor and exhaling down. Beautiful. Inhale, reaching your hip off from the floor. Now interlace your arms behind your back. Dragging your shoulder a little bit closer toward each other. Ground your wrist, elbow, shoulder, press your feet. Lift the hip a little bit more higher and look up toward your chest side. Breathe here for about four breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Looking into the belly that when you're breathing is rising up. When you're breathing out is sinking down. Same breathing, inhale, exhale, one more time, breathe in, and exhale to come out, you release the hand, lift the heel off, lowering the upper body, middle, middle back, lower back, the sacrum, lower it very mindfully, and simply just hugging the knees in, very close into your chest. Just hugging them close like a beloved one that's close to your heart. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And I'll release our back a little bit too. From here, bringing your both knees, feet and knees together, both knees over to the left side, like close into your chest. Left hand on the top of the right knee extending your right hand up and opening your right arms toward the right side of the body and align with the shoulder close your eyes here we're taking one minute into the spinal twist and breathe if you can if you're taking an ujjayi breath release the ujjayi breath and taking in a natural breathing here Slow piece of the breath, letting the gravity, the shoulder very heavy, the back is very heavy to release down to the floor. Deep breath in. Big breath out. Inhalation again. Taking an exhalation. Relax your face, mind, 
your jaw, the whole body relax. Softly with your own keys, roll the body back. Roll the knees, come back in the middle. Hug the knees close again to your chest. And then when you're ready, you bring your both knees over to the right. Right hand on the top of the left knees, extending the left arms up. And following with the exhale, turn the head over to the left. And taking one minute into this twist circle. Enjoying into the silent space for one minute. Relax the whole body even more. Softly chin back to the middle. You roll over the knees back. Hug the knees very close into your heart. Very, very close. Letting your feet flat down to the ground. Opening the leg like in a book so the sole of the feet touch together. One hand will be placing into your tummy. And one hand will be placing right on the top of the chest. From here, like you're giving a really nice thank you space, touching space towards yourself. Close the eyes, taking one minute space in a diamond-like position. If you can, as you inhale, feeling that both hand is rising up toward the ceiling. And as you exhale, your both hand is sinking down toward the floor, toward the ground. Face off. Relaxing the back side of the body. And breathe. Breathe into the space that you never breathed in before. Whole body relax. Completely sinking down. Few more breaths here. Letting your face very soft, feeling the body even more grounded down to the floor. Just relax. Next inhale, come around, release that hand. Place the hand under the knees. Closing the knees very mindfully. Walking your feet into the edge of the mat. Like a pyramid, bringing your knees touching together. Hand could be placing simply right on the top of the belly. Or whatever is feeling right for you. Listening to your body again. Slowly, slowly, bringing your feet back into the middle. Hug the knees, close into your chest. Very, very close. Rounding the forehead, your shoulder in toward your belly, toward your knees. Take one deep breath here. And exhale, lower down to the ground. Straight the leg into the front. Wide as the mat. Before we come into Shavasana, 
we're just taking a one bigger stretch here taking deep inhale extending the arms spread fingertips and your toes deep breath in and as you exhale release the whole body and reach your arms all the way up arm by side of the body palm facing up tuck the shoulder under so your chest can be really nice and open stay in your shavasana for six minutes here completely closing your eyes and letting the body rest here whole body resting for five minutes releasing any tension tiredness any blockages perhaps is there just washing it out with the exhale feel that each of the exhale is guiding you more relaxed more surrendering and softening even more enjoying with the sounds of the music or the sounds around you Softly taking the awareness back into the body. Feel free to still lowering into the Shavasana. And simply just bring some movement to your fingertips, to your toes, legaling them very gentle. Keeping the knee eyes closed, bringing the knees a little bit close toward your chest hug them in toward your chest and roll the body over toward the right and make a pillows with the hand and just stay for a few breaths here it's really nice releasing grounding feeling keep the eyes closed And when you feel ready, supporting with the both hand, roll yourself up, crossing your leg back and into sitting position. 
thighs still closed, place the hand right on the top of the knees here. Relax your shoulder, the body, spine really nice and long. And place the hand right on the front side of the heart, over in a space of thank you for your body, You're doing really awesome today. And over in a space of gratitude for this moment that we still have right now, right here. Can setting your intention for the rest of the day today, anything that you want to bring it out, anything that you offering out to yourself, space of thank you, gratitude, compassion, anything you know, it's just right for you. And allow us to chant sound of Om to close our practice. And sending that intention for the rest of our day. Exhale all the way out. Deep breath in. Oh. let the forehead bow down toward your heart humbling drop the ego namaste thank you everyone for joining the class hopefully that class will be help you throughout the day or the end of the day to see you into the other class namaste